really bothers me is people don't take it serious. Mm -hmm. um, words hurt whether you say it or whether they're typed out. Cyber learning turns to cyber horror for a local family. A Wilson mother reached out to CBS 17 saying her son has been the target of incessant bullying for the past three weeks. Consumer investigator Steve Sprasha is getting answers on the situation, which has left the youngster scared and his mother upset. Like many schools, Wilson Preparatory Academy is now doing distance learning. And since school began, one student has been the victim of what his mother says has been constant cyberbullying. This is just one example of the harassment that Jalen White's undergoing. Somebody changed the sixth grader's screen name to Loser, but it's much more than that. Once he started logging into Zoom for his classes, um, we started to receive messages. Messages like, I will find and kill Jalen. But the messages weren't just sent to him. Obscene messages also were sent to teachers. The emails all came from Jalen's email account, which had been hacked. White changed her work schedule so she could sit beside her son during his school day and intercepted some of the hacking. She told teachers it wasn't him, while the cyberbully continued to threaten Jalen. Despite being sent screen captures of the intrusions, the school thought it was Jalen, till his mother physically brought him to the school and lost on to Zoom in front of administrators. 20 minutes after being in there, stuff start happening again. Emails start being sent, they close them out of Zoom, all types of stuff. The cyber bully obscenely taunted Jalen, claiming that he'd hacked school cameras and monitored their conversations about going to the police. The school's IT tech tried several remedies. He tried to change my um, password and tried to change the email and everything, and it, it just never worked. Every time we logged in with something different. The bully stopped Jalen from taking online tests and told teachers he wouldn't let Jalen finish his work. All of it taking a toll on the youngster. Because he can't understand why somebody would want to bully him, and he really doesn't understand why somebody would want to kill him. I've learned the SBI is now investigating the incident. School officials would not do an on-camera interview saying because it's under investigation, they can't comment on Jalen's case. But they did release a statement saying... Wilson Preparatory Academy takes each and every incident of bullying, stalking, and harassment seriously. Our goal is always to have a safe environment for all of our scholars. Meanwhile, Jalen's mom has withdrawn him from the school, hoping to break the pattern of cyberbullying. She's placed him in a new school, hoping that it doesn't happen there, too. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprayson.